Hello my friends, today I'm making first short video about my new work. I'm making wedding dress grace for my client and we will make this dress in very beautiful colors. This will be white, light blue and also light purple. Top of the dress we will make from light um, white color. Next, this bottom part skirt uh, we will make from light blue. And at the middle part of the skirt, we will make a beautiful thin lines made from a light purple thread. For this project, I will use my favorite thread, Italian Viscose, and right now I will show you all colors. So first, the main color is white, number 415. It's a Pure Lux Italian Viscose. I will show you better this number, maybe someone want to order threads like this. And this one cone has 100 grams and 500 meters. Next, second color is light blue. This will be the bottom part of the dress, number 303. You can see here, light blue. And a little bit of light purple, number 727. Looks like this, just a little bit of this color. In total, for dress like this, I will need around 1000 grams. Uh, this will be the wedding dress, so uh, like this, threads we will use, and crochet hook will be small steel hook 1.7 millimeters. This small steel hook I will use, it's my favorite hook for threads like this. For all my projects, dresses, collections, I am using uh, such hook. You can see it right now. It's the best for my work. Okay, and now, uh, Five elements I took from our first crochet magazine in English. It was our first crochet magazine, JT House, issue one. You can see even first element, Ophelia, we have it here and also at the cover of magazine. This magazine you can order if you want. Link you will find in description to this video. Uh, you can order digital version or you can order, uh, order hard copy of this magazine and you will get yes, this magazine to your home by using UPS delivery company. Uh, we are sending all packages and letters. So from here I took five elements that I will use for wedding dress grace. Uh, right now I will show you ready elements because I made a lot of motifs uh, for this moment and today you will see them. I stretch and iron them, hide tails and you will see a lot of beautiful elements right now. Just uh, once again, principles of yes, of making this dress, I want to show you a few words just about the design. Uh, style of the dress will be like this, just uh, we will have the same sleeves, the same neckline, stripes, yes, length of the dress, just we will have another elements and we will have two main colors and a little bit of purple, yes, but style like this we will have. Okay, next about uh, colors, like I told you, uh, we have uh, light blue, also at the bottom white and purple, and just it's like sample from internet, yes, it's just to show you what I mean. Uh, we have white and light blue, and transition of colors is in the middle, also I will have purple there. there. Just I want to show you style when we have two colors and we have this transition from one color to another, yes. It's uh, really beautiful, very interesting and just a few samples just uh, to show you what I mean about colors, yes. And now let's look to our beautiful elements. Two motifs of Elia we have here. Uh, we have two elements because we will place them symmetrically in our composition for this dress. So you can see right now this element, it looks really gorgeous. I love the design, these greets and also these beautiful leaves at the both sides. And viscose is very soft, a little bit shiny and it's a really big pleasure to wear projects made from viscose, Italian viscose. Also, if you want to order threads like this, we have a really wide range of colors at JT House Yarn Store. Link you will also find below this video. You can visit our store, there we have only available threads, so you can be sure if you will make order, you will get all threads that we have there. So you can choose, we have a really big, uh, really big uh, wide range of colors, uh, especially Sapphire Lux. Uh, you will, I'm sure you will find something special there. Okay, so two elements like this we have, let's place them here and after I will show you beautiful twigs. Uh, 
so now long tweaks we have them in our first crochet magazine uh, this tweaks i call it avery uh, we have flowers like this interesting design uh, with like five small flowers yes at the top such edging and also let's look to this leaves this beautiful design crop stitch yes the last row looks really great i think we can clearly see these leaves in our lace and i love design like this and i love to use elements uh, with such design so i will place right now these elements i want to show you here on the screen a lot of motifs today so like this tweaks i will use at the upper part of our dress there mostly yes we will have white color so a lot of elements uh, we will have in white color and we have here a lot of twigs uh, avery and also uh, long twigs we have several and also i have made uh, twigs are very smaller just uh, uh, for example if we have here five flowers and six leaves i made only three flowers and four leaves this small twigs i will use for beautiful sleeves and also i will use them for composition at the front side i will show you right now just smaller uh, like i told you we have here three flowers one two and three and leaves we have four two here and two at this side all these twigs i will place here just to show you how many elements we have yes they're really gorgeous And uh, two more twigs I have here, so I will place them somewhere here. And now twigs uh, Felicia, uh, they are also unique designed by me and we have long twigs felicia and smaller uh, also i took them from our first crochet magazine jd house issue one and we have flowers like this with beautiful grid with this fantastic design at the bottom part and leaves i want to show you also here yes like this design so long twig uh, we have one long twig and after i will show you how many small we have two long twigs and also uh, i know that we will use four twigs like this for dress at the bottom part and i have smaller twigs also two and i will place them right now here uh, sorry at the bottom we will not use them maybe at the top but at the bottom we will use mostly a light blue color because we have uh, two main colors so let's place this uh, twig, they are ready. I also hide tail, stretch and iron these elements and they are really amazing. Uh, so these elements we have, I have also uh, small motifs uh, for sleeves. Uh, we will use only white elements, uh, twigs avery, also smaller, three uh, flowers and four leaves. Uh, this is the last two twigs in white color. I will place them uh, here at the bottom and next we will start to see amazing light blue elements. You must see this. So all white elements we have here. Also I want to tell you if you want to learn how to make wedding dress grays, 
you can join to our JD House Patreon Club. Uh, there I am making live workshops each month. And right now, for example, we are making two projects there, together with my friends, with my subscribers. We are making Summer Top Mermaid and also Wedding Dress Grace. There also you will see a lot of videos about this, directly about this dress, step by step, how I am making composition, how I join elements, how I combine few colors, yes, and uh, you will see a lot of information there. Uh, together with these learning cars, you will see also this variant, how I am making this dress for my client in another colors and in a little bit different size, yes, there we will change lengths of sleeves a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I think it's really um, great if you will join and you will get there a lot of inspiration, a lot of knowledge, yes, you will see step by step how to create these all elements, you will have their video tutorials and also step by step uh, you will see how to create wedding dress. It's really the biggest crochet course I ever made for my crochet school, yes, JT House Crochet School. So you can join and uh, $10 monthly you can pay and you will visit all live workshops and also you will get access to all previous uh, tutorials. There we have right now 49 crochet tutorials and 9 crochet courses uh, in this moment. Um, yes, it can be different in different months maybe, but uh, a lot of information you will uh, see there and uh, yes, I am sure this all will be very useful for you. Also, I will be very happy to see you there and also at the live workshops. We are talking at the chat live, so it's uh, really fun and interesting. Uh, so, my friends, let's continue to talk about uh, wedding dress for my client. Next, I will show you uh, light blue elements, but first I want to tell you more about composition. For bottom part, we will uh, create amazing laces, such design. Uh, we have here a lot of elements. They, uh, I will make, I just made them from light blue color and a little bit at the top I add uh, light purple. So, here we have motifs. Yes, the most, the biggest one, Adrasta, yes, with beautiful pineapples here, I'll also, we have here four twigs, already journeyed to this element. Next, uh, we have Flower Talisman six petals, this element we also have in our first crochet magazine. Next, Motifs Elara, special one, uh, next, uh, Deimos, and just part of Motif Deimos, just middle part. And small motifs helicae. Uh, we have six elements like this. I place it them symmetrically. So let's start. And I will show this all elements live, made from light blue viscose. And first we start from the biggest elements, Adrastea. Uh, we have here really beautiful grids and amazing twigs. In total, eight elements I will use. And uh, yes, uh, these uh, elements are very tender. And uh, what I love uh, is that we have here a really big part of lace ready and the design of this lace is gorgeous. We will clearly see this design in our skirt, just in our uh, bottom part of the dress and it's, I think it's really great. So I will place these elements right now step by step and you will see how they look. So first two elements you can see, now I will place more at the same place because we, we need this area for next elements. So we have eight elements like this. Next we have flower talisman, six petals, also from our first crochet magazine. In total I'll, I will use four elements like this. They are also very tender, beautiful, you can see, made from viscose. So let's place them. After we have a lot of elements demos, like this, we will use them for four parts of lace and after for our main composition also, because these elements are not so big, so they will be very helpful to create beautiful lace. Let's place them also here. Mm -hmm. 
Also, we have motif demos for elements like this. Just I add a little bit of light purple color, you can see. And yes, I will use them in the middle of our dress. Like I told you, there I will have this additional color, just a little bit. So let's place them here. And after I want to show you a lot of small motifs. It's just incomplete motif demos. Um, these uh, elements I will use, yes, a lot of times because we will have open spaces and we need to close them by using small elements. I also hide tails, iron and stretch everything, so they are ready. Uh, now I want to show you next elements, Alara. Uh, we have them here in two colors, light purple and light blue. Like you understand, I will place them in the middle part of the dress because we have here this purple color. And uh, I, s I really like the design of these elements. Uh, we have a very beautiful turning, a uh, beautiful design because here we have big holes after we have solid parts. Again, holes and solid parts. Uh, crop stitch we have, it looks uh, really amazing. And I have uh, eight elements like this. I will place them here right now. So I placed these all elements, Alara, at the top. Now we can talk about long twigs, Felicia, that I will use at the bottom of the dress long twigs i made the same we have white just at the bottom i need to use blue color for our skirt so you already saw this element just right now we have it in blue color and i will place this old wigs here at the bottom in total four twigs i have like this uh, because we will use two for front side and two for back side of dress. And now the last twig, number four, Felicia. I will place uh, this twig here also. And next we will talk about the last element. Uh, next we have motifs Helike. Uh, a lot of elements in two colors and also the same element I have in one color. I want to show you closer the shape of this motif. Uh, we have two colors, light purple and light blue elements like this. Uh, we have um, in our composition in one lace, like I just uh, showed to you, uh, six elements. So in total I need 24 elements like this. A lot of work and also elements the same, just in a light blue color. You can see the same, sh the same shape, just one color. Now I will place them here and uh, yes, right now you will see what elements I have for this moment for wedding dress. So my friends, I uh, showed to you this white elements, light blue, a little bit with purple. Uh, you know about the design, what threads I'm using, what crochet hook. Yes. So now I will continue my work. I hope this video was useful for you. I want to give you big inspiration. I hope you will start to create really big project. Uh, maybe dress, maybe blouse, skirt, something like this, because it's really big pleasure to make crochet wear. And next you can wear this amazing project for some event and get a lot of compliments. And you will get a lot of energy when you will achieve big goal like this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about courses, about threads, about Patreon page, just feel free to ask me. Uh, you can send me a message below this video. Or you can visit our website, there you can chat with me live. Uh, so don't be afraid to ask everything you want. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I wish you gorgeous results, big inspiration. Stay safe and see you at the next videos. Bye-bye for now.